be here playing StarCraft 2 with you guys, hopefully. I hope in the break you managed to go and patch your game up and you've got it all up and running in another screen or in another part of your desktop or in another monitor or something like that. You know, I was just uh, having a look at the comments there and Tiger was talking about the music in this game and the soundtrack of StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm are both incredible. They are so amazing. In fact, I carry them around on my phone and I actually listen to them. I've got them both because, of course, they came with the collector's edition, but you can download them uh, off iTunes. You can buy them, I think, from their website. You can listen to them here on YouTube, which is what we're doing right now. They are really, really nice. It's really cool. So good to see that you like, well, good to hear that you like the soundtrack tiger because so do i you know i'm a big fan of the music in all blizzard games this one is no less epic so there we go um and Seeker was saying i was looking at the upgrades not sure if i'm supposed to get heart of the swarm or wings of liberty i'm easily confused you know what join the queue i'm the king of confusion so that's why we're here today is to discuss all of that stuff and set you guys on the right path to StarCraft 2 awesomeness, which is going to be so cool. Soviet Power Supreme, says Ashley. That's right, Red Alert 2. Let's have a listen to the end of this music, because it is just so epic. Listen to this. If you ever get a chance to hear this live, it is amazing. Honestly, it's kind of like it was written as a classical music piece, isn't it? Anyway, we should stop that about now. There we go. That's enough of the music. I could listen to it all day long. Actually, we have got some music in the background here. I'm going to show you a couple of options about that as well in a minute. So why are we here? It's because a lot of folk, and by the way, this is going to end up on YouTube. So if you miss anything in this live stream, do not worry. You'll be able to go and check it out on YouTube later on. It's no problem. So don't feel like oh my god oh my god i'm so far behind because i don't know what did sambo do what did he say then doesn't matter firstly it's going up on youtube secondly this is so noob it's not funny it is so so newbie it's not funny it's going to be concerning the very basics so let me see how could i relate this to something else if this was about how to use a computer let's pretend that this show was uh, me teaching you how to use a computer today we're going to be covering the power button <laughs> right um and how to open an internet browser and that's about it so it's that sort of level of basics but you know what you'd be surprised as to how many people don't understand even that low level and it's not because they're stupid it's not because they don't have that sort of brain it's not because of any reason other than the fact that no one's ever bothered to take the time to show them that this could potentially be a game that you might be interested in now i will say up front that these sort of games are to a lot of people something you either love or you hate so in other words you either like real-time strategy games or you don't there's very rarely people who are just in the middle so if you know for a fact that you don't like real-time strategy games then you probably well nothing i say is going to change that in fact speaking of saying things before i go any further i'm going to unmute myself because i've just realized that i'm in the mumble chat but no one can hear me there so let's see if they're around. I know Ashley can hear me probably, although can't say anything. Doc, are you there, Doc? Yes, I am. Oh, hello there. Good to see you. Uh, you're still awake. That's that's very good. Sawi, are you still awake? Because it was about 2 a.m. last time we spoke to you. Yes, I am. Oh, my God. What, well, what uh, time is it? Soon, soon I'm going to be preparing to go to my Viki Vanguard tournament. Oh, oh, of course, right, your weekly tournament. We heard about that last week as well. Uh, can I ask yeah, you, I, how, how did you go last week? Did you did you get any cards? Yeah, promo cards, and in the tournament, it was me and three more people. Out of the four that was there, including me. Yes. I ended up first. First? First out of four? You know what, Tiger, I don't know what first feels like. But Sawi achieved it, so I think that's pretty good. How are you, Tiger? <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. Um, you know what? I'm kind of excited about this because I've been very excited about StarCraft 2. I know you're you're my target audience because you've been playing StarCraft Arcade 
So it's not totally unfamiliar to you, but I think, you know, if you're honest, you'd probably say, well, StarCraft 2 looks pretty boring. Wouldn't you reckon that, is, is that you? Is that where you're at? Well, I would say confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're common words that are used to describe StarCraft for people who don't play it. Boring, confusing, um, or ruthless. Because, of course, if you go and try and play against the computer or play against anyone online, it's all over before you know it and you don't even know what happened. Steph, I can see, is in the Mumble chat room. Steph, are you there? And hello. Hello. Hey, now, have you installed StarCraft 2? I have. Ooh, excellent. All right. Well, I hope you've got it up and running with you now because what I'm going to get you guys to do is follow along with me. It's going to be one of those um, tutorial episodes. So you can pretend I'm a video cassette from 1980 teaching you how to use um, WordPerfect. Now, a lot of you won't even know what I'm talking about there, but I'm, a, I'm an instructional cassette. That's what I am today. And you're going to be playing okay. along with me. How's that? How's that sound? Except your instructional cassette is live. So that's the difference today. Um, I can see also Zen Wing has popped in to say hello. Hello, Zen. How's it going, my friend? Hello. Good Fine. to see How you. Are you? Um, are you? Are you a StarCraft II player by chance? No, I've never played it. Well, this is for you as well then. This episode is totally for you. In fact, for anyone watching it now in the live stream or in the future on the YouTube channel, if you've made it this far, then I'm going to say you're curious. So if you're at least curious, stick around. We're not going to be up for too long, maybe an hour tops. So don't worry, your brain won't explode. And let's not forget who is teaching you, and that is me. Now you guys know that be my afraid. exactly be afraid. my brain cell, <laughs> my very single brain cell is even more unintelligent than the combination of all of you. So uh, don't worry about that. It's not going to be aimed very high because my level is so low. And uh, speaking of low, low levels, hello, Minnie. <laughs> Hello, Sambo. How are you? Are you, you know, looking forward to this Friday? I am, shall I say, that I am nervous with anticipation. That's how nervous I am. I am kind of trying to work my way up to Friday. I'm, I'm, I've got Friday in my mind, not on my mind, and I'm working backwards from it because I'm, well, I can see Steph is saying, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a total noob at StarCraft. Good stuff, Steph. Same here. I'm not afraid to say that I'm going to be screaming like a little Sambo, and you're probably going to be laughing at me, <laughs> Minnie. Although I must say, probably. when it comes to screaming, you're a bit of an expert. I mean, I've seen you play some games on your live stream <laughs> where, you know, you've been practicing the art of screaming. Have you played Dead Space 3 before? Be honest with me, because I never have. I've not touched it. I've only just recently installed it in preparation for our live scream event on Halloween Eve. I have you have you played it? Well, I've uh, playing Dead Space One uh, for my my live stream was the very first time I played it, and then what people have seen me live stream is what I've played, not more, not less, and I have not touched Dead Space Three yet because I want to be completely surprised when we play. Great. Well, I think that we will be surprised, and I think that our viewers will be surprised by just how much of a big chicken we both are so i'm certainly looking forward to that many by the way it's nice to have you come by and say hello surprise. on your oh yeah <laughs> very surprised um come by on my stream i popped into yours earlier just before i went away and had lunch you were helping arietti deck out her character if i'm not mistaken how did that go well well we weren't i wasn't doing that we're working we're, she's kind of working on something i'm not allowed to say anything past ah. that but i was just helping her out with something secret girl stuff huh i see how it is yeah yeah i'm used to that i'm used to that and especially i can see another secretive woman that has popped into my chat room who i haven't spoken with for such a long time i bet you she was hoping i didn't notice she was there catella good lord how long has it been since we've said hello hello catella Hey, it's been a bit. It has been such a long time. You know what? So much is going on. And I first thing I want to ask you, by the way, is how did that event go? Or has it been or gone or is it coming? I, I honestly have had not had a chance to catch up. You had a big event, a big server-wide event where you're doing a big parade, if I'm not mistaken. Has it happened? And if so, how did it go? Yeah, it went well. We just uh, we just finished up a bit ago, and we ended up actually doing two sessions of it so that more people from the server could come join. Right, because of the different time zones and stuff. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, so in a nutshell, yeah. if you had to describe what it was, is it was it like a in WoW we have these things called naked gnome runs where everyone gets a level one gnome 
and strips down to you know pretty much nothing and then roams around the server it is very very disturbing more disturbing than merrick <laughs> than merrick in a mankini now is it anything Ooh. like that uh, wait a minute now <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to you in just a minute um, mr ho ho hum um so I can tell her what's it like tell me that there's not nakedness well, no, there wasn't too much of that. We that we cute. actually had some. It was more like a festival, and we had games, and we had prizes, and like we had scavenger hunts. They were finding people, and we had the parade, and like uh, we had zombie tag, and oh just goodness. a bunch of little things. It was fun. And now let's just get this straight. This wasn't something that was organized by Square Enix, or it wasn't an in-game event like isn't built into the game. This is all something that the wonderful distant world folk created from scratch is that right this is just our thing yep we just uh we thought it would be nice to get the community of the the server together just right. to mingle and get to know each other and i guess there's i mean inherently a little bit of a division because it's technically a japanese server and you've got some language issues there so is it fair to say that yet again this is probably yourself and the usual suspects, distant world anyhow, uh, doing their best to try and build a community on on a server in a game. I mean, that, that, is that your prime motivation there? Yeah, I mean, it, it was. The main thing was trying to get people um, to be comfortable talking with people outside of their FCs and, you know, outside of their guilds and everything. Yep. And know that there are a lot of great people on our server and it, don't be afraid to mingle. There you go, and it's a great message. Um, in fact, you know, there's been lots of uh, messages coming through this week, thick and fast. We've had all sorts of drama out in the media. We've had drama even in our own communities. We've had all sorts of things going on. And, of course, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's life. But the biggest thing, I think, to happen with Distant World, and especially yourself and uh, folk like Minnie and Merrick, Jinx, all of those great crew, uh, is that we carry on carrying on, right? Like we don't let those things yep. uh, knock us off track. And speaking of which, I do my best to knock Merrick out of his comfort zone with all sorts of hideous images, but it doesn't seem to work. I don't know. Merrick, are you there, sir? I'm okay. I'm uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I saw some pictures of you and your short self. Maybe not. Maybe not quite very short. Uh, at the Fan Fest. And, of course, it was very interesting and great for me because it's, I don't know if you realize this, it's almost one year, very, very shortly, one year ago that we met in real life in LA at the Wowhead, what was it, the Wowhead after BlizzCon party or something like that, uh, where we actually met in person. Do you realize it's almost a year has gone past? Can you believe it? Uh, it uh, yeah, it has been a year. It's uh, uh, a, a very fast year too, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, same for me. They say that the years go uh, faster the, wait a minute, the younger you get. Yes, that's what I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> um, so, I because I'm very young. That was the, a nice catch there. Yep, the year went very fast. <clears throat> Anyhow, we're moving along. It was great to see pictures of yourself. And, of course, you weren't the only one there um, because you were joined by, I think there was Zoe, I think. Is that right? And Euromon was there. And I think Euromon's joining us in the chat, so we'll talk to him in a minute. I think Cutie was there. Um, pretty sure Jinx was there. Mini Ninja, did you see these pictures that I'm speaking of? Yes, I did. Now, did, is there anyone I forgot? Who else was there? There was... Arietti. Oh, oh, Arietti. Lucy. Oh, yes, and Lucy, Lucy yeah. was there also. That's right. Do you know what? We actually got to see a photo of the rare Arietti. You know, it's like a, 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 a nature documentary. It's like, if you're very quiet huh? and you come out at night, you might see the rare Arietti coming out of her. Yeah, well, it was like that. So it was great to see a picture of you, Ari, wherever you are. Um, but Euromon, you were there as well, and you're also here with us in the chat. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you today? Good. Now, you survived meeting some of these folk in real life. Was it, a, was it an or ordeal? I mean, firstly, are you very tall in real life? Um, just about six foot. Right, so by normal people standards, that's pretty tall, right? I'm, I'm, I mean, six foot's not slack. I would think so, a little bit. Yep. Uh, what did you think when you met Merrick and he towered over you? 
<laughs> I was kind of scared, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> going to break, bust out a sword. Um, Merrick, it was honestly, I, I mean, when I saw a picture of you uh, from there, and by the way, thanks for uploading your Dropbox full of all of those as well. That was great. It really did take me back to meeting you last year, and it just made me really miss the fact that uh, I can't come to stuff like that at the moment because I would love to be able to go to all the conventions and meet all of you guys in real life. It's my one dream is to um, to catch up. So uh, I hope you're on, though. It was a, a great event because I saw some disturbing news where Yoshi P was saying that it may not happen again. What's going on there? Or did I, hopefully, did I read that incorrectly? Um, he did say something. I saw Cutie post something about he didn't think there was enough reason or something to do one every year. Yeah, it was more because this year he gets to, they get to announce the expansion pack. Right. And so if they did one every year, then it would, it, they aren't necessarily going to have an expansion pack every single year. And so they're a little worried that there wouldn't be enough to, like, warrant people coming out for gotcha. it. And so yeah, that's what it was. Problem. Yeah, yeah, that's more what they were worried about. It's not because that they don't want to do it. It's just because that they want to make sure that if they put something on, that it has enough content for people to be excited about. I mean, I think that's a noble thing. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. They want to want to make sure people are having fun. But I think they shouldn't dismiss the fact that I think people would pay money just to be able to go somewhere and meet fellow community members. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like to, so mm -hmm. just providing a host. So yeah, Minnie, I'd say you'd agree with that. Although I don't know, would you go to an event, Minnie, where you knew I would be there? Probably just to torment you. Yeah, well, <laughs> probably. Uh. Well, I mean, look, you can ask Tiger because I'm so dashingly good looking. You may not want to turn up because you might just. Oh instantly... yeah, I might. You yeah. might scare me away. Well, well, only because I'm like I'm like a character off a soap opera. You know, I'm just so so good looking that it's not fair. The one that dies all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Hey, wait a minute. Who, who oh, said that? Ty Tiger's just kidding. <laughs> Tiger's <laughs> just joking. Good lord. You know what? Someone else would need to say. Let's quickly change topic here. <clears throat> would be Yorick. Hello, Yorick. How are you? <laughs> now, you're. Yorick, Yorick knows all about dashingly good looking because as you can see there right on the screen uh, Yorick is currently our top donator and we thank you very much but what you guys don't know is what the donations are for uh, the higher the donation the more attractive you think I am so th that's how this works so, yeah. so you can see there that Shiv gave $3 uh, so that says a lot about me. I'm <laughs> just joking, Shiv, by the way. Of course, every every dollar helps. And speaking of every dollar helping, by the way, hope you guys are supporting your favorite streamers right at the moment for the extra life efforts that are going on. I'm unable to do a 24-hour stream, by the way, Catella, because, you know, I'm so old, I'd probably fall asleep halfway through it. But um, I'm guessing, Catella, that a number of your favorite streamers are doing great big 24-hour sessions and stuff. Would that be right? I don't know if they're doing full 24 hour. I know Jinx mentioned something about it before. Ah, really? But I'm he's not actually sure how streaming long he's, right now. Yeah, I think oh, he's streaming he? right now. I'm not sure how long he's going to be streaming, though. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you go. Good on you, Jinx, by the way. If you're watching this later on, um, go, go, go. And I hope. But, oh, another thing. If you are doing a stream, um, Catella makes a good point, which is yeah, okay, you can go for 24 hours or whatever, but you're allowed to have a break. So the whole point of this is to promote health <laughs> and raise money, yeah. uh, not die at your keyboard. So uh, look after yourself. There you go. Um, and Seeker has got it right. Um, in fact, I think Seeker's come and joined us here in the mumbles. Uh, let's see. Yes, you've managed to turn your computer on. Well done, Seeker. Seeker, are you there? Hello. Yes, I'm here, Sambo. Good. Now, listen here, cheeky chops. I don't think you would fall asleep, Sambo. You would go off to eat. Now... <laughs> I think you're right about that. Well, I get hungry before I get tired. Are you the same, Seek? Like before, you know, I, I, a lot of people who are on stream saying, hey, I'm falling asleep, I've got to go now. I never get to that point. To me, the only thing that drags me away is the fact that my tummy is screaming at me saying, Sambo, Sambo, you've got to feed me now. Are you the same or are you a tiredness person, Seek? Well, sometimes both, but uh, if I'm playing a game or watching a stream, I tend to have uh, snack food next to me. Like right now, I've got a big tub of uh, German meatballs. <laughs> what? A big tub of German... Do you know what? I think in the entire five years that I've been broadcasting, I've never, ever heard someone say that. Not once. So you are trailblazing there. Hands up anyone else in the chat room here who's got a tub of German meatballs next to their, their computer. 
Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Catella, are you a snacker? Do you have to have a snacker snack thing next to you while you play games? Mm, no, because if I had snacks beside me while I was playing games, then I would probably get too distracted by that <laughs> <laughs> than what I was doing. Now, are you taking note here, Tigerhawk Rosebud? Are you taking note? Because, I mean, based on what Regina J. Lacerta is sending you, how many sn you'd be surrounded by snacks right about now, surely. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm set for a while. Yeah, exactly. We'll leave it there. In fact, uh, if you want to go look at Tiger's uh, Facebook page, maybe she might post a picture of the latest care package that came to her from Reggie and just note that I didn't get one and I'm in the same city. But we'll Aww. move on from there. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> it's good to see all of you guys here. Thank you very much for coming along. And um, I'm pleased that you had fun with your server event over on Final Fantasy XIV. Now, you're welcome to stay, but I don't know if you know why we're here today and today it's a little bit different so starcraft 2. starcraft 2 that's right now starcraft 2 is a game that sort of it's mixed right people either love rts's or they hate them and look another game that's popular at the moment because it's just been released is uh civilization beyond the stars right like now look yay or nay is there anyone in the chat room here who has played a civ game just yay or nay yay yay i have nay no. yeah, yeah. So is majority, majority of people have played Civ because that's a turn-based game, right? Very addictive. And we were talking about this in our last stream. Just one more turn, just one more turn. Imagine StarCraft 2 is the same as that, except it's in real time. It's like that sort of thing. So think of it like a modern chess game, if you will. But the fact is it's in real time. And because it's in real time, that gives most people who are slightly interested in it no chance to test things out because things are happening so fast and so quickly especially when you're against the computer or even worse against another player that it's all over rover you get your butt kicked and you think i hate this game i hate this game I'm, i suck at starcraft and you never play it again i was you i god i sound like an infomercial i used to get my my face kicked with sand when i was at the beach and now look at me with my my starcraft 2 muscles well actually i've not really got very big starcraft 2 muscles now but they are growing because i've been bothering to sit back and watch someone who's really good at teaching the game and understanding all the basics so that's why we're here today is to break it down and if you happen to have starcraft 2 on you then crank it up right now because we're about to get into it and i'm going to take you through some of the very very basics and this stream will last about one hour from now it's just going to be the basics if there's enough interest i'm going to keep it going we'll do another one and i'll keep it up and uh hopefully it'll be a reference for you guys uh, Bayuki is saying would you like a snack yes i'd like a tub of meatballs yes <laughs> <laughs> what have you what have you posted there seek is that a picture of your it's a, your meatballs what's that it's uh, just meatball things and it looks really good now i'm really hungry oh, thanks yeah see i told you merrick it's, oh, these guys ah. do that they wow um, well, I honestly seek it's nice of you to share a picture of your balls there. They look fantastic. Uh, and uh, hi, I'm going to go. Hi. They are, well, they do. They look awesome. I I actually had a subway just before, and I had meatballs in mine as well. <laughs> Poor Catel is going. I know this was a mistake coming in here. <laughs> um, look, if you guys are getting hungry, now's the time to go grab a snack. Um, go go over to Tiger's place. She's got a wealth of them. She's got tons of them. Um, and grab that right now because we're about to kick things off. If you have StarCraft 2, crank it up now so that you're at the front uh, page just like me here. And just like every other uh, Blizzard game, there's a lot of things that are the same. Obviously, we've got our friends list here. We can see Ashley's there. We've got Doc Sun there. There is Steph, Eagle Wings. Hi, Steph. We've got Seek. We've got Tiger. And we've got Yorick, so that is cool. So thanks for joining us, guys. Now, if you want to talk to anyone, it's just like anything else. You can double-click or right-click on them to do things like invite them to a party, chat, view their profile, by the way. You can do that just like Diablo 3. You can see all their progress and their rewards and their achievements and all that sort of stuff. We're not focusing on any of that stuff today. We're going to be doing something completely on our own and under no pressure. And that's what it's about. The first thing you need to do, though, is go into your menu. Now... Tiger, are you playing? Are you able to watch along as you play along, if that makes sense, or you don't have um, two screens? Like, how does it work for you? Are you, are you just listening, or what, what's going on? I unfortunately, I don't have two screens. I just have my laptop. Oh yeah, so it's a bit hard, isn't it, to do that? I mean, you could do it because you can put this game into windowed mode, by the way. And for what we're doing today, that would suffice. And I'm going to show you how to do that, just in case you do need to wonder. And you go in here to the options, you go to graphics, and you literally choose display mode. It's the very first thing there, and make it windowed. Just literally make it windowed. That's all you need to do, and hit OK. 
okay and then you can literally alt tab out and grab the edge of your windows up here and just shrink it to any size you like so that's it it's that simple if you want to if you want to shrink it down small and you can have it small today it's absolutely no problem we're not going to be doing anything we need to have it full screen what i do need you to do though is just check up here in the menu is a little globe and by the way this section here is going to take about two minutes and then we're going to get into the game this is a little globe that is where the region is and a lot of people don't know where it is so once again you can either hit escape like that or you can hit the menu button doesn't matter click on the little globe and if you want to play with us make sure it's set to Americas now it doesn't matter if you are in the EU so seek for example you if you hit escape and go to the region select there you're in Europe obviously you're from the UK but you should still see America or Korea Taiwan Southeast Asia all those options in there is that right seek Yes, I can see that, uh, yep. the four different regions, and I've got America's highlighted. Beautiful, that's the one you want, because that means that you are able to play with us when we do stuff in the future, whether that be arcade mode or actually in StarCraft. So make sure you've got the right region there, folks. Um, the other thing is we need to go into the options menu, and I won't go through absolutely everything here. If you find that StarCraft 2 is running a bit slow, just go to this graphics quality setting here. At the very top of the graphics tree, it says quality. And what that does is sets all of the advanced options for you. And you can just choose something like medium or low. And that will just turn everything down and make the game run a lot smoother for you. Because the thing with this game is you really don't care what it looks like. It's more about how smooth it runs. So make sure you get something that works. Now, I can't remember what the command is to get a frame rate. Wait a minute. Is it control F? Uh, no, control R. I can't remember. There's a command, control shift F. Oh, I can't remember what it is. There's a button which allows us to actually show you what the frame rate is. In fact, if you give me one second, I should have figured out that earlier. Uh, let's see, global. God, where would it be? Menu. No. Oh, look, I don't know. We'll think of it. Someone could Google it, perhaps. That might be a better idea. What is the hotkey for showing the frame rate? Because that can be handy so that you can actually see uh, how fast or slow it's running. But where we're going is further down this thing here. Past the sound, of course you can adjust the sound how you like. Past the voice, I just have voice chat turned off. Um, past everything and getting to this control section here. And what you want to do, my advice anyway, and the advice that I've learnt, is turn your mouse sensitivity up a bit, but you're scrolling down. So in other words, you should see on the screen four sliders. Basically turn... Sambo, yeah. I look up the command oh, thank you. the FPS. What is it? Control Alt F. Control Alt F. Ah, there we go. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sawi. Really appreciate that. And you can see it's appeared now no in the top left. So Control Alt F will get you that frame rate. Now the ideal is for it to be around 60. Thank you, Ashley, in the chat there as well. You want it to be around 60, at least more than 30. So if you've got a nice fast computer, 60. Actually, Steph, I don't know if you are you playing along with this today? Yes, I am. Great. Now, if you hit Control Alt F, you've got a super duper computer. Uh, what what's your frames per second? Uh, it's at sixty because I have the vertical sync put on. Yeah, exactly, and that's a great thing to do as well. In fact, I'll just quickly show you that there in the graphics thing. If you turn on VSync, it will actually allow you to lock that frame rate in. It may be slower, but it's locked, so it doesn't vary all the time, and that's really handy. So there you go. Thank you, Sawi. Now back to the control. So first slider here. Turn that. Just turn it up a bit. Mine's at 65%. That's enough for me. But just turn it up. Honestly, trust me. And the scrolling ones here, the mouse scroll, keyboard scroll, and drag. Just turn them down a little bit. So mine are around about 40%. And that's it, really. Nice and easy. Hello there, Cousin Charlie. And, oh, look, hang on. Before we go any further, Tiger Hawk Rosebud has put a, t a picture of her snacks in the, the chat. T Tiger? You, explain that. I mean, what, did that arrive in one care package? Yeah, that was just one package. <laughs> Um, and hi there, cousin Charlie. By the way, uh, whoopsie. Let's see. How's it going? Yeah, that is one care package. That is absolutely incredible. In fact, you can see in there these are all New Zealand and Australia snacks. So um, yeah, there's lots of things in there. I don't know if you noticed, Merrick. Have you opened this picture yet? That, that Tiger posted. If you. Uh, I don't. Uh... Oh look, it's it, what it is. There's a tube in the background here, and it's a bright yellow tube called Vegemite. 
and I'm just wondering, have you? In fact, look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to I'm going to break the third uh, wall. I have heard of Vegemite, but I've never tried it. Right. Well, hang on. Just let me. Sorry, guys. I'm. You're going to. The stream looks like it's going to drop. I'm just going to bring up a screen region here for a second because I want you guys to see this. Here we go. All right. That there is the picture that we're talking about. <laughs> so these these these. Where is it? There. Vegemite is a unique topping to Australia and New Zealand and all of my American friends say that it tastes like what they would imagine axle grease to be like what do you think oh <laughs> uh. you? yeah exactly it's a black thick paste it's basically a yeast extract it's the byproduct of another process um tiger have you eaten any yet I had some while I was over there actually and it wasn't that bad right it's very very tart though isn't it? it's very oh my god you know it's very sort of it stings almost you know but what i'm noticing here are the tim tams and can you please just explain to us in this very important starcraft 2 tutorial uh, what are the flavor of tim tams that you've got there <laughs> um i have a uh, peanut butter and red velvet oh, man you know what it's a hard life being you isn't it it really must be awful that's just terrible so is that what it looks like right now for you surrounding yourself in snacks that's pretty funny <laughs> Oh. I, I do have a box of shakes next to me, so I'm good. All right. Well, as long as you're all... Uh, hello there, Harvest. Want to try Tim Tams, she says. I can't find them at the store near me. I bet they are yummy. I can tell you this, Harvest, they are absolutely yummy. They really, really are. Hi there, Harvest. Um, and they're a Australian tradition. If you're, you're not Australian until you've actually eaten Tim Tams. All right. So hopefully you guys have done this. You've up that slider reduce those three sliders there's one more thing that we've got to do and that's in the next area here called gameplay so I just need you to hop in there and don't worry about most of this stuff except for there's some tick boxes in the center now pretty much they all should be ticked now remember there's no right or wrong but these are the tips that have been given to me by this great tutor that I've been following on the second column so we're talking about the column over on the right you absolutely must disable the one that says enable simple command card so if that is ticked like that please untick it it is absolutely essential and it comes to fault being ticked actually so yeah you gotta be careful with that one make sure it is unticked enable simple command card the other thing you want to do right now optionally is untick enable enemy unit selection and also um, if you're colorblind you want to enable that of course but disable it otherwise and then the other thing that you want to do is there's a little slider down here called control groups and you've got options of normal hidden or unclickable you want to make them unclickable it's that simple so on this page once again we're on the gameplay section of the options you need to have everything here ticked except enable simple command card enable enemy unit selection and of course enable colorblind mode unless you are colorblind and then for the control groups it is unclickable it's very very important everything else doesn't matter you can do what you like now there's one more change this is the final one that i have made and i'm going to go all the way back out if we go down the bottom here to hot keys hot keys and then we go to global then what we want to do is now let me see where it is it control group that's right that's all fine i'm just trying to find this one about ca ah, here we go cameras so you want to go into is it the camera yeah it's the camera group and by default i think they've made the create location one two three four five uh, I can't remember what it was actually that it's something other than shift F1 so we want to change create location one two three four in five or one two and three four at least to shift F1 shift F2 shift F3 and shift F4 and let me show you how to do that you just click on it where it says create location and you can literally um, unbind the hotkey that's already there so you can just hit that little cross there or you can add an alternate so if i get rid of the one that's there it's unbound i click on add hotkey and then hold down shift and hit f1 and that's how you do it now that is optional in the game i think it's by default control f1 but it's much easier to make it shift f1 so i'm going to repeat myself just once there so you know where i am we're in the hotkey section we go down to global and then we go into uh where was it camera was it yep camera and then create location one two three four make them shift f1 through f4 that's it 
and that's as complex as we're going to get today so assuming you've done that actually let's let's test that theory hey Steph are you there or are you have you fallen asleep already because it's so boring <laughs> no I'm here okay um, did all of that make sense I hope it did easy yep. enough to follow okay and I'm aware also that you guys probably can't read my writing because of my crappy stream so um, but you don't need to be able to read it today all right that is it I hope you guys are ready because once you hit okay and return to game we are now going to start some Starcraft 2 action so I guess I should open up to the chat room before we do that are there any questions so far and seek did you manage to actually turn the power of your computer on so far I yeah, I managed so. to uh, follow it so far, Sambo. Oh, good stuff. All right. Um, now, let's see. Tiger. Tiger, because, I mean, look, I know you're good at Hearthstone, but uh, I'm just going to assume you're terrible at StarCraft because I'm, I, I'm just clearly way more smarter than you and way, way, way more good-looking as well. Uh, it's a curse, I know. But... Uh, uh, whatever <laughs> and yet she's the one that receives all the care packages oh yeah hmm. shh, shh, shh. nobody invited you Catella shush no I'm just joking <laughs> uh, sadly Catella is 100% correct <laughs> uh, Tiger are you following along so far um sort of <laughs> sort of that's okay sort of is good enough all you need to do now is make sure you get to the main menu what we're going to do guys is we are going to go into the section called custom games now you know what arcade is we don't have to explain that campaign is a story and if you've got the starter edition you'll be able to play a little bit of that matchmaking is exactly what it says it's about either battling the ai or other players of your skill level and by the way that's a big fat lie because whenever you play anyone else they're a million times better than you well, that's how it feels anyway so there we go uh welcome back delden by the way yes seems twitch froze on me i shall return when i get home oh harvest that's no good um you'll be able to watch this by the way later on if anyone misses any of this custom games is where we want to go so in we go folks in we go to custom games and we're going to get presented with a map loading screen in just a second now the first time you go in here it might take a while to load up but that's okay uh, we're going to explain a couple of things while you're waiting for it to load basically here it's like arcade mode whereas you've got a whole bunch of maps that we can choose from and trust me there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them what we're interested in today is any of them that have the letter the letter the number two uh, there we go many i've just reinvented the english language apparently numbers are letters the letter two is oh i've done that way before you did sambo oh, did you <laughs> The number H, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoopsie. By the way, you're another good person that I was wanting to ask about this because I think StarCraft 2, from what I know of you anyway, is about as far out from your comfort zone as a game could possibly get. Am I right? And you're welcome to be honest about this one. I mean, it, do you have yes. any interest in it whatsoever? Probably not. I don't know. Is, is it another one of the free games? Mm-hmm. It sure is. Uh, um, so, yeah. I well, if it's free, I guess I, I should give it a try. Yeah, and that's... Uh, I mean... I mean, that's the whole point of the stream, by the way, is to, to sort of push people towards something that they wouldn't normally give a go and see whether they like it. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that anyone is going to love it as much as I've ended up loving it because it's a very narrow genre, right? As in, you love it or you hate it. But at least give it a go. And, I mean, Minnie, you've brought up a great point there, is if you can get it for free why not so what you can do is you can grab the starcraft 2 starter edition and in fact in your blizzard launcher if you were just to go launch or play it will automatically install it anyway because it will know that you don't own it and you would be able to follow along with us today in fact if you start installing it right now it'll only take about 10 minutes until it's playable so there we go and um and nemesis the bold is saying sambo the reason you can't find any one of your skill level is because there aren't any around and uh, i'm going to choose that as saying that's right because no one is good as me. That's right. Uh, you, okay, you keep on believing <laughs> That's that. what he meant, right? I'm sure that's what he meant. Mm, <clears throat> sure. <clears throat> yep, okay. <laughs> Cousin Charlie is saying, <laughs> Sambo's trash talking. Oh, snap, this should be fun. Oh, no, if you want to hear trash talking, wait till Minnie and I get in a stream. Then you'll hear some serious trash talking. <laughs> but anyway, yes, it is completely free. So you can do everything that we're doing today in the free version. So there we go. Now, what this is, is a list of maps. Two means that they're designed for two players. And as you can see there, I hover over a map long enough. It'll actually bring up a picture of it. Or I can click this little, uh, you probably can't see it on the stream, but right at the very right hand edge you'll click a little cog and we can say map info and I can bring this up and what it does is it shows us a picture of the map uh, what it's going to look like and it also has a little uh, blurb about it I guess 
and you can see reviews of this map as well to see whether or not people like it and like everything else in this game we can choose to bookmark it so if you like the look of this map I suggest that you hit bookmark right now there we go bookmark added because you can always remove it later on if you go mm, that looks good bookmark it and it means it's much easier to find later rather than having to go into this great big list of thousands of maps I can go straight into bookmark maps and with a bit of luck you'll see that we've got 100 available bookmarks that we can use and one of my there it is Agria Valley the ones that you like your favorites if you like will come up there which is cool if you're wondering what my wait a sec yeah hmm. this game looks a lot like red alert Absolutely. Have and you I'm ever glad heard you of the up. game Red Alert? Absolutely. We were talking about it in the beginning of the stream, in fact, because the music of StarCraft 2 reminds me of Red Alert 2. And Red Alert 2 is one of my favorite real-time strategy games of all time. If you like Red Alert, Red Alert 2, Command & Conquer, Command & Conquer 3, um, any of those sort of games, Age of Empires, then this is the game for you. In many, it's exactly the same. Warcraft, Warcraft 3, all of those games, that's what this is. It's a real-time strategy game and they're tons of fun and especially tons of fun playing with people because in this game you can have up to four player co-op or you can play of course one-on-one -on -one against each other or four versus four or anything in between seeker is saying seek you are steve uh, what is it Seek, you are so far above us on skill level that you are on the second go round exactly that's why my uh, skill appears so low because I've lapped you all in it. That must be it. It must be it. Now I'm glad to hear that you like Red Alert Mini because it's one of my favorite real-time strategy games. Do you like it as well? I used to play that yeah I, when I was little uh, my sister way back before you know video games went online my sister and I played the PlayStation 2 we hook it up to a TV <gasps> each and yes. hook the PlayStation 2's up to each other or was it the PS1's I can't remember. PS1. But we would actually on? play yep. on two different screens yeah. How and cool is that? I, I had a lot of fun. But right. then I, I saw it was on Steam, but unfortunately it was only single player. I was like, what? Nah. Oh, maybe they've shut down the servers now. I'm not sure. It could be a well, game spy thing. Maybe. You it know? was it was an old, it was uh, one of the very first. Yeah, it was maybe Command & Conquer Red Alert. Alert. It was... Ah, but, well, Red Alert 2 is still up and running and still fine, and it's still a ton of fun. Just think of this exactly the same as that. So you have to gather your resources and then send units out. So what we're going to be doing today, though, is teaching you some little tricks to make this a lot easier and to uh, sort of wipe out that confusion, I guess. So uh, thank you for mentioning that, by the way. Because if you have played Age of Empires, Command to Conquer, any of those sort of games, then this is exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a map. Now, hopefully in your lists, you all have Agria Valley. Steph, do you have Agria Valley at the top of your list? I hope you do. Yeah. Yep, great. And I imagine that Seek and everyone, actually, who have we got playing? Let me have a look again. We've got Ashley. Doc, sorry, I've forgotten about you completely. Doc, are you still with us? Are you still awake? Yeah, I'm still here. Great stuff. And Yorick, I don't know if Yorick was around. He wasn't answering me before, but if you are there, a big hello to you. Now, Doc, have you got, well, firstly, are you a seasoned StarCraft 2 player? No. Good great then you're in the right place so agria valley is what we want now of course we could choose any map that we like uh, but for now i want you all to choose the same one so we know what we're doing so what we're going to do is we're going to choose agria valley and instead of join game we're going to click create game so i need you to do that now and if you've never played the game before then as you can see up the top it'll stream the data in so that might take 30 seconds or so it's a very small map otherwise you will end up at this lobby we are in the lobby right now so i'll give you guys a second just in case your map is loading in fact uh, tiger i know that you're currently on slightly slow internet etc um, so you're a good test as to how long these take to load on a slower connection right so has yours loaded up into the lobby yet yep i'm in the lobby oh there we go All right now winter is saying i love me some turn-based strategy games my favorite star trek birth of the federation oh, i love that as well that's awesome um ashley is saying the first rts game was command and conquer mine was command and conquer one and then june remember june battle for arrakis and all those awesome games and uh oh careful moose hello careful moose i always thought vegemite was a vegetable spread for toast <laughs> it's worse than that trust me harvest is saying home now did i miss anything not at all harvest unless you are wanting to uh, come along and join us on our little tutorial here oh you've joined us in the chat room hello harvest how's it going 
I don't think I would do very good in the uh, in a game right now. Well, look, the point is, I don't know if that's because you're tired, but we're not actually going to be playing a real game. We're, this is a, a very, very newbie tutorial session. So this is for people who are newbier than noobs. This is for people who don't even know how to move a unit in StarCraft 2. That's where we're aiming here. So pretend you've never ever played it before. If that's you, then crank it up and we're doing this in the style of play along with me. And we're just going to teach you some great habits up front and see if we can get some folk interested in this game who otherwise wouldn't. So uh, if, if you don't have no idea what's going on, you absolutely should join us because this is aimed right at you, which is where I am too, by All the way. Hmm. Well, I don't know what's going on, but I won't say I'm tired per se. Oh, hang on a minute. Have you been drinking? Have you been out on the plonk? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> All right, folks, there we go. Sing for us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're drunk, you sing. And by the way, if you don't sing, you get sung at. Now, this is. Oh, no, we already did the singing thing. We already had the karaoke. I got dragged into a lot, so. Oh, well, if you're not going to sing, I will sing. Now, if I was to do a quick. Can we do the Pokemon theme? Well, if, well we could. Uh, no, we no. could do Pokemon <laughs> theme. Because the thing is, I mean, if I was to do a straw poll right now in the uh in the twitch chat or here in mumble and say would people rather hear me sing or you i mean i know that everyone loves my voice uh but i think that you might want to sing <laughs> otherwise i am going to sing yeah. <clears throat> yeah right well i don't know do you want to do a duet harvest what do you think i mean this is all to do with starcraft 2 training <clears throat> makes total sense uh i'm happy to do it <laughs> i'm happy to do a duet with you what do you reckon would you go would you be down for that I think my boyfriend might smack me in the back of the head. Oh, actually, that's true. It's probably a bit late for you. Well, as your punishment... Well, we can try. I mean, there's that time lapse. Yeah, well, that's that's the beauty of it. That's why it's so good. Now, if anyone else... I know Catella's got a great great set of singing lungs, right, Catella? <laughs> I'm going to um, dump her right... No. Me Merrick, Merrick, Doc, Mini Ninja! Now, listen. Listen here, Mini Ninja. If you don't know the lyrics to the Pokemon theme song then you need to hand in your nerd card there is just i think see uh, the thing is sambo i i heard you sing it last time and yeah. i think that it completely erased any memory <laughs> i had of anything pokemon related <laughs> i agree uh, thanks guys well just for that i, mean, I haven't heard him <laughs> sing the song yeah just for that here is your Don't, punishment just... <clears throat> oh boy I want to be no, 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 the I very best, you. like no, 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 oh, what? no really, I, I, I can carry on, like no one ever was, to catch them is oh, my, my real Oh my goodness, I come back and this uh, is uh, what I hear. Hey Yorick, join it's in. It's better than to what my family were doing. To train them is my cause, <laughs> Pokemon, gotta catch them all, uh, I know it's my all destiny. All of a sudden, the dogs just destiny. started barking outside. But, oh my god, the dogs are going crazy. <laughs> You're my best friend in a world we must defend. Fan. Pokemon, a ah! heart so true. <laughs> Our courage will pull us through. Wait, wait, here's the best bit. It's the best bit. <laughs> you teach me, and I'll teach you. Pokemon. Hey, you're making the best of gut here. I think I'm starting to bleed from my eyes. Oh, oh welcome, Winter. That's now. why I left my pa the party. I was <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get if okay, you don't I sing. I give you. Okay. I give you a 9.5 out of 10. What? You that just, was you actually should, way better. You should have hit favorite. the higher notes just a little bit higher, but I'll give you a 9. Point, uh, 9 .5. Thank okay, you. Don't no. encourage him, please. Zenwing, don't no. encourage him. Zenwing, no. Oh, oh, if he gets him any higher, he's going to shatter glass. They all, they all mean well, Zen. It's just their way. They're not very good at articula articulating it. What I can see here is, um, oh God, Arietti Clock just loaded the stream and suddenly it's Sambo's Pokemon theme. You you're welcome, you're welcome, Harry. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and Winter's saying, what a hell of a time to join Mumble. Um, Kyle Ice has said, thank you, mute button. Uh, Seek is saying, saying that it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like Sambo's got a problem with his meatballs. That could be, could be a reason for my falsetto there. And Doc is very nicely saying, is he done yet? So, uh, yeah, my, my ears. I'm, uh, oh, Nemesis is saying, Zen, did you mean a minus 9.5? There we I go. think that's what he meant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think so too. Yeah. Oh I think boy. That too. Well, do you know what? One thing I'm pleased to be able to let you know is that I'm actually better at StarCraft than I am at singing. So there's hope for you yet. Now, if you guys uh, have. Oh no. Yeah, I know. Uh, if you have managed to actually. Oh, my new dog is traumatized for life, says Stephanie. Way to go. Um, 
It's good to get it out at an early age. <laughs> oh boy, oh we boy. We just got her today too. Uh, did, oh really? You got a new dog today? Yeah. You're joking. There's a picture of there's a picture of her on her on the engine. Oh, website. you you need to post a link of that if you don't mind. Then, if it's public, uh, you know, if you don't mind sharing in public, can you post it in the Twitch chat here? Because we'd love to see a picture of your new puppy. Well, is it a puppy or is it an adult dog that you've adopted? Um, it's a two-year-old that um, we adopted from PetSmart. Wow! But she Isn't acts you? like a puppy. Oh, that's so, so cute. What um, what breed is it? Her? Sorry, not it. Um, she's a Chihuahua mix. We're not sure what the other part is. That's so cool. But um, cute though, right? Very cute. Oh yeah, she's adorable. Do you Very thin. She needs to gain weight, but e even she's more cute. cuter than me. No, not possible. <laughs> not possible. <laughs> um, feel free to post a link of her in the chat room here in Twitch, by the way, while we're streaming. And uh, do we? What's her name, if you don't mind? Did you say that? I can't remember. Uh, we called her. Well, actually, they were calling her Nina, so we're gonna stick with that. Right, because she's probably used to that. Nina. That's a really cool name, and it reminds me of an old song from the '80s called '99 red loft balloons i don't know if anyone here's old enough to remember that but anyway shut up and I take you remember those there we go harvest saying shut up and take my money that's right donations accepted to the sambo singing fund um it would probably cost about i think that's to get you to stop singing oh, oh. is it that's right no i want yeah. a cd do you know that look that happens nice. when i busk in melbourne i get people stopping and throwing money in and they say i'll give you five bucks to shut the hell up uh, look, it works, right? It works. <laughs> <laughs> You're making money. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, let's get on with this very educational StarCraft 2 episode. As you can see so far, we've been going nearly one hour, and we've got to the map selection screen. So we've been doing well so far. <laughs> I, I blame, in fact, I blame everyone here that has joined us recently, namely namely Catella, Merrick, Mini, and especially Tigerhawk Rosebud. I blame you all. Um, right, let's get on with this. We You're are at, welcome. You are at the map selection screen. Now, in a normal game, folks now you've been sitting here for half an hour in a normal game you would do a couple of things normally you would add ai you'd click that add ai button so that you've got an opponent because obviously you want to play against an opponent that's how the game works but thank goodness for the fact that blizzard actually allow you to play against <gasps> nobody that's right we are going to start a game today against an empty opponent we're not going to have an opponent that's how newbie we are going to be today because i want to show you some things some very very basic stuff which will help you when you do have an opponent but we don't want the pressure of being attacked by an enemy and of course in a real-time strategy game as the name suggests it's in real time so the more you dilly dally shilly shally mini mini reference dilly dally shilly shally don't use it oh my god oh. <laughs> zuda, 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 zuda. it's not dilly dally shilly shally Oh, what is it? I have it? <laughs> it's okay, Mini. <laughs> Why? Shambo, did you get Blizzard to put that in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Just like I got Blizzard to put in Whirlwinding a card in Hearthstone with zero attack and the ability to fireball yourself. They put them in especially for me, so there we go. Dilly dally shilly shelly. How's that? Is that better? Zuru, 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 zuru. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I <laughs> okay, bow I'm just down. Leave the stream to watch that movie now. <laughs> I bow down in your presence. There we go. You know, I've got to watch that movie again too. The the later edition I'm... of yeah, how good is it? Well, are you the love that that movie? I certainly hope that. Are, are you kidding? I have watched that movie over eight hundred or not eight hundred. I've okay, almost eight hundred times, but wow. literally over a hundred times. I absolutely yeah. love that movie, and I I have. One, two, three, four, five different copies of it. The reason being, and I know you're probably like, why do you have so many copies of one movie? Okay, the first one, <laughs> my friend, I, I'm ashamed to admit, he got me a bootleg. But I loved it so much, I went out and bought two DVDs. One I wanted to get for my sister, and then my sister got me the collector's edition. <gasps> and then I got the final cut version, which has yes. the extended yes. edition. I, look, I believe you because I've got three versions for the same reason, um, but that final cut edition <laughs> finally makes it actually sense. Like it makes the story make sense, if you ask me, because even me, I used yeah. to struggle with the old one. And it's on Blu-ray and it's just a beautiful thing. So uh, I love that movie. Oh, well, I'm glad to see. Look, we have a common theme. Maybe our stream on Friday won't be so bad after all. By the way, Steph, I just saw Nina, the newest family member. She is, uh, yeah, sadly a lot cuter than me. 
Um, and uh, she's not as hairy as I am, and her ears are smaller than mine. But apart from that, uh, she's very, very cute. So what do you reckon? She's two years old. Is that what you said? That's what you're telling us. Yeah, she looks but, gorgeous. Um, she looks like she's just, you can tell by the way she's sitting there patiently. She'd be a very kind-natured dog, I'd imagine. Be, be very grateful to have a, a home. So good on you, Steph, by the way. Thank you. I, I love people who adopt animals. By the way, I was adopted. I'm, I'm not joking. So I, that's why I have an affinity with adopted things. So uh, I consider myself an adopted pet as well. Eshrel, hello to you there in the chat room. Good to see you. All right, now let's get on with this. We are going to start a game against nobody so that we're not under any pressure. Because like Minnie was saying, in games like Red Alert 2, etc., do you remember, Minnie, if you'd sit there and do nothing against the computer, what happens? The computer builds up an army and they come over and stomp you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't want any yep. of that sort of crazy pressure while we're learning the game. So all we're going to do is make sure that we are on the Agria Valley map. We've got all these settings at default so the category don't worry about what they mean category is melee mode is 1v1 in this case it's going to be 1v0 the game speed though I would like you to set to faster and there's a reason for that and that is because all of the games that you will play uh, later on against real people are faster now you can set the game speed to slow or even slower to practice but for today you're not going to need that when you play your first real game against an AI with everything going on yeah I would select slow or slower because it just literally slows down the speed of the game so it like time gets dilated if you know what I mean in this case though we want it set to faster because of the stuff we're doing locked alliances should be yes and game privacy should be normal so that should all be default, I think. And then all we want to do is click start game. And there we go. Starting in 10 seconds, you're going to get that countdown, which is when most people start getting nervous because it's like, oh my God, someone's going to beat me in about three seconds. We're going to have none of that today at all. Starting in zero seconds. And the next thing that should happen is you should see a map loading screen like this, and it should just have you on it only you if it's coming up now with two people i.e. you and an AI opponent then you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong already now wh while we're looking at this loading screen you'll see on the map there are two white whoops there we go there's two white squares they are the two starting areas oh now it will come up and say victory straight away don't worry about that it doesn't mean that the game is over well it is technically because we won because there's no other enemy but what we're going to do is we're going to click on the button that says return to game now before I do that can I just confirm with someone like uh, let's see Steph has that happened to you has it come up and just said victory straight away it should have uh, no I'm not quite there yet okay we'll wait for you doc is yours loaded in yet yeah but I messed up Oh, did you go to score screen? I bet you you went to score screen. <laughs> yep. for me. There we go. What about you, Seek? What did you do? Yeah, I got victory and then returned to game, and I've got a lot of little people running around some crystals. That's the one. That's where we want to go. So what you want to do is hit return to game, and you'll see you've got your little people here, just exactly as you said it. And we were going to explain what these are. Now, before we go any further, what you need to know are a couple of buttons for this game. And the first one is, I don't know if you can see what's happened on the screen there, but it says game paused. Now you can't pause a game in multiplayer, but because we're not in multiplayer, we can pause a game. And you literally hit the pause break key on your keyboard. Now that will depend whether what sort of keyboard you've got as to where it is, but it normally is above the cluster between the number pad and the keyboards. So it's the pause break next to your sort of near your print screen button. So um, look, you've got a relatively new computer there, Steph. Do you have a pause break button on your keyboard? Because some people don't. Um, I don't think so. It's next to, normally you have print screen, you know, up the top of, it's at the end of your function keys. You've got print screen, then I've got scroll lock. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah, there you go, pause break. So it's right up the top there, folks. So um, for today, we're going to be using that a little bit. And as you can tell, it just literally pauses the game. The other way that, uh, the other thing that people get really confused in this game is if you hit escape right now, I'm hitting escape, you can hear it, nothing happens. What? That's bananas. That's crazy. How can you have a game where nothing hits, nothing happens when you hit escape? How do you quit? How do you do all that stuff? The way you do it is you bring up the menu with the F10. 
key. There we are, F10, which will also pause the game, by the way. But that allows us to look at our achievements, our score screen, uh, any messages that have come in, and get to our options. So it's the equivalent of using Escape, but it's F10. And you can also get to it down here. There's a little menu button, that one there. Now, one thing I forgot when we were in the options, and we're going to fix that right now, especially if you're in windowed mode, is you want to have it so that when you move the mouse up to the top, bottom, left or right of the screen, as you can see here, hopefully it's not getting too blurry for you, you move the screen around. Now, that won't happen unless you've got a particular option set. So I'm going to go F10, Options, and then we're going to go into the Controls, I think it is. Now, where is it? Gameplay. I'm just trying to remember where it is. Give me one second. And there's an, a, um, an area where we want to make sure that the mouse is confined. I'm just trying to find it. The mouse is confined in the window. I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Mouse scroll, surely Remember. it would be... Do you guys know where it is? If you know, let me know. Oh, there it is. Found it. Right, okay. So I'm going to go back from the beginning. Let's hit F10 to get to the menu. Whoopsie. F10, Options, Controls. We're going to go to Controls. And then you can see here, just below the first slider, a little drop-down box that says Confine Mouse Cursor. Just fix that to On. Don't make it automatic. Actually make it On. And then accept that change. So Controls confine mouse cursor on otherwise if you're playing in a window your mouse will just travel across the screen without moving the actual game field and you don't want that all right so real basics what we're looking at right now is our command center and you can click on it in this game you left click to click on things to select things that's how you do it and like with any real-time strategy game, you can either uh, select one thing or you can select many. Now, I can zoom in with my mouse wheel, by the way, and that's nice if you like looking at the pretty graphics, but I recommend that you leave it zoomed out as far as possible at all times. And hopefully your screen looks pretty much the same as mine. Now, if your screen down the bottom right here doesn't look like this when you've got the command center selected and you've got a picture of a mouse button, then the reason for that, one more time, is options, and we go into, where was it, gameplay, and you've got enable simple command card turned on. In fact, I'll turn it on now to show you what I mean. Return to the game. And you can see here, a little picture of the mouse. That's not what you want. You definitely don't want that. So if I go back here, go into options, and untick that, accept, return to game and there we go you can see now it's got a whole bunch of options instead that's what you want it to look like and it looks like it's more complicated but that's what we want so if i wanted to select one of these little men as seek put it i just left click on it and you can see there if i zoom in he's got a little selector icon underneath him nice and easy and i can i can just select as many as i like just click 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 away if i want to move him somewhere i right click so i'm going to move him over to the other side just by right clicking there you go, you can see he's moved over. Now, Mini Ninja, that's exactly the same as Red Alert 2, I believe. You left click to select something, right click to make it move somewhere. That was how it used to work back in yep. the day. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. easy. What I want you guys to do is select multiples of them. And you do that by making a lasso, just like in Windows. So you can see I'm there, I'm just holding down the left mouse button and using a lasso. Pretty basic stuff, I know. But we can lasso all of everything. So they're all selected. And notice in the middle here, you can see them all. There they are. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six SCVs is what they're called. They're all selected. If I now right click somewhere, guess what happens? They all move to that spot where I right click. And that's what I want you to do because we've now stopped them gathering. And we'll pause there My for a second. Backwards. What, oh, is yours, yeah. what, is it, is yours left click to move, right click to select or something like that? No, on your picture there on the stream, your crystals are on the left of the screen. My crystals are on the right of the screen. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Look, um, if we move around the map, and I'll show you how to do this very quickly in a minute, but around the map, you'll notice that there are many areas of crystals. You may have spawned at a different place than me. Okay, so you may be down the bottom, for example. So you might you might be down there. I know the stream's going to take a while to catch up, by the way, but you're probably down the bottom right of the map rather than the top left. Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So just where you are won't matter for this tutorial. Very quickly, Nemesis the Bold is saying, can we rebind keys? And the answer is absolutely you can. And let me show you where that is. So if there's any keys that we're going to use shortly that you don't like, you just hit F10, go to Options, and down here are Hotkeys. And there's a whole bunch of sections that we can 
uh, change here including all of the camera mouse menus you name it you can make it pretty much anything you like and you can save it as a profile specifically for you as well now if you're wondering what these words are protoss terran and zerg that's something that i forgot to mention by the way at the beginning of this map i hope all you guys are terran because there's three races in this game and i hope that i that i got you guys to choose that i think i forgot but uh, let's have a quick look and see who's online. So, Doc, are you playing as Terran? In other words, you should have a screen and a command center that looks pretty much like mine. Are you Terran? Yes, I am. Great. Uh, Steph, are you Terran? I don't think so. Okay, you. that's my fault. You're going to need to quit. And I'll sh that, I'm glad you showed me that um, uh, because I'm going to show you how to quit, which is F10 and go to the score screen. And if you do that... I'll give it a second we go it takes us out we are out we're back out so we'll start again folks don't worry it'll only take 30 seconds we're just going to get back out to the start we're going to go to agria valley we're going to create a game if you already had terran don't worry about doing this you can just keep keep playing it doesn't matter we're going to enter our lobby here we are this drop down box here it's got terran zerg protoss or random you want to make sure that you are on Terran. That's one of the three races, because each of these plays very differently. And this is also where StarCraft 2 gets very confusing for a lot of people. Um, you will like one of these more than the other, but today we're going to be playing Terran because it's one of the easiest ones to learn. There's nothing complex about it. So make sure you've selected Terran. And choose your color too, by the way. Forgot about that. We got sidetracked with Steph's dog, I think. Um, so of course, I could. I'm going to choose light pink because as you guys know light pink is my favorite color <clears throat> anyway so there we go Terran it's just me no AI and I'm gonna start the game so I do apologize folks but thank you for bringing that up so anyone else uh, what were you seek were you Terran or were you some crazy race I've got absolutely no idea what I am <laughs> if you go back out if you if you go back out like I said hit F10 and bring up the score screen We'll do it again. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to do it again right now, so you can follow along with me. We're going to go to the score screen, hit F10, score screen, go right back out to the beginning. We're going to the map list here, and I've got Agria Valley selected, which is what we want. I'm going to create a game. So now you guys should be very practiced at creating a a game by yourself. And once we've entered the lobby, we're going to have a look at ourselves. Yes, that's us. We're going to choose the drop-down race to be Terran rather than Zerg or Protoss or Random. So just make sure, make sure that's Terran. Hello, who's some? Who's joined my party? Get out of my party! Who is that? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if someone does join your party, we can remove them from the lobby as well, just like that. Sorry. Goodbye. Uh, so you can choose yourself to be Terran and choose a color, of which I'm going to choose light pink nice and easy and then we just go start game that's it so I hope that made sense seek and that you are Terran now now doc it made sense but I'm still loading the screen oh that's okay that's all right sometimes it takes a, bit, a little bit longer on slower machines now doc how about you did you manage to fix your mistake there and are you Terran now yep I was Terran before oh that's right you uh, you went to the wrong thing now we're gonna make sure we hit return to game I'm gonna oh now I'm in the same place you were uh, seek I'm down the bottom this time I'm gonna highlight I'm gonna select all of my little dudes and I'm gonna right click and get them away from those crystals while we explain a couple of things so I've selected them all and I'm right clicking to make them move around it's that simple now people get very fast at being able to do this and being able to manipulate them wherever you want to go but that's how you move these guys around now I don't know if you remember by the way Minnie and in fact is Minnie still with us or is she falling asleep let's have a look yeah, no she's there that's good, good stuff slowly falling asleep though. that's okay <laughs> um, I have that effect on people I don't know if you remember but in Red Alert 2 very similar where you have like a basically a command center and it's called a command center here mm -hmm. and I'm clicking on it right now and that's like the center of your operations and pretty much if you lose that it's not quite You'll true. Lose the game. But yeah, pretty much. Like that's the that's the most precious thing, one of the most precious things that you need to protect in this game. And of course that's why you start with it. And this command center is the thing that collects resources in this game. And Minnie, I know you're not a StarCraft 2 person, but I'm gonna give you a couple of guesses. I'm looking at a screen here that's got my command center next to a bunch of well they look like blue crystals, and when I hover over them, it says that they are minerals. Take a guess 
as to what you think the main resource in this game might be. The minerals? Okay, yes. There you go. It's not, it's not Chapes. <laughs> and it's not Tim Tams. <laughs> Although I reckon if we made a game where the resource was Tim Tams, then Tiger Hawk would play it 24-7. But that's right, they are minerals. And what we need to do <laughs> is we need to gather... In fact, for this exercise, let's call them Tim Tams, shall we? Will that make life easier for you? <laughs> we'll pretend that this is Tiger's house... The command center is Tiger's house, <laughs> and these minerals are blue Tim Tams. They're blue velvet Tim Tams. What we need to do is we need to collect as many of these as possible because without these, we can't build Jack. Everything we're going to make in this game to build ourselves a massive army needs minerals. And up the top right are some numbers. Now, Seek, have you managed to load into the game yet? And are you looking at your, your game field screen with your little men running around? Yes, I'm back. I'm Terran, and I'm where you are. Beautiful. Thank you. That is awesome. Now, up the top right, you will see three groups of numbers seek. Now, I'm wondering if you can guess what that first number is. Mine says it's 115 at the moment. Yours will probably be different. Uh, but uh, there we are, Winter. He's going to call them Tim Tams from now on. <laughs> Sorry. That'll get stuck in your head. Sorry about that. Um, what do you reckon that number represents? That first number with the blue blue crystals next to it. I would assume the crystals gathered and Ex mine's going up like crazy. Up Beautiful. Good, good. Keep it going because you the idea of this game is to always have your little robots, your little workers, gathering minerals. And I'm not doing that right now. What I'm doing right now, having them all sitting over What's here, is a cardinal sin. Because at any point in this game, you want to be gathering as many minerals as possible from anywhere you can, preferably near to your command center. So that first number up the top there shows me that I've got 115 minerals in the bank, if you like. And when we go to build things later, they cost minerals. So for example, to build a marine, like a soldier, might cost 100 minerals. So at the moment, I can only build one of them. It's stuff like that. That second number there, has a little green barrel to it. And the reason for that is because there's two types of resource in this game. We've got the mineral field, that's the main one. And then up the top here, you probably notice, Doc, above and below your command center, if you hover around, you can see some little tiny moon craters with like green stuff floating out of them. Do you see those? Yes, I do. Okay, they are called Vespine geysers. So they're geysers, they're natural things that occur in the ground on this planet, wherever we are. And that is a gas. And a Vespine gas is also a resource. So many, <coughs> trying to think back to uh, Red Alert 2, I don't think there were different types of resources in Red Alert 2, were there? I'm pretty sure there was only one. Not really, it was, yeah, it was just the jewels. And it was the, a matter of uh, value, like there was something that looked almost like... Almost like like wheat. I always used to pretend yeah, it looked no, like wheat. It was nothing but like a yellow material, and then the more colorful it was, the more valuable it was. That's the one. Yeah, ores and gemstones. Ores and gemstones. There you go. Ashley's got it in one there. May I please join you? We can show the units are if you want to send me a party invite. Thanks, Enora. Not today. We're just doing real basic stuff today, but absolutely in the future because I definitely want to do more of these streams so we can get people excited about collecting Tim Tams. The thing is, many is that there's two types of resources and some units, and you can imagine, the more advanced units require not only minerals, but Vespine gas as well. So we also need to harvest that and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Finally, finally, now who else have we got online here? Let's have a look. Whoops, wrong button. Stupid Sambo. Uh, we got Steph. Okay, Steph, I'm going to put you on the spot now. We know that that number up the top is minerals. The second one is Vespine gas units, of which we have none at the moment. What do you think the third number is? And it should be, uh, it should consist of two numbers. Do you reckon it's the date? Is it 611 today on my screen? <laughs> what do you think they are? Uh, the cost of everything. Right. Do you know what? I used to think that as well. It's so funny you should say that. And most people think that, and then they realize it's not, and then they give up. Because it's like, I have no idea what that is. What that is, believe it or not, I like to think of it as the number of rooms in your house. 
okay and if you hover over it it actually says here all living units cost supply build supply depots to increase supply and that is the most unhelpful tooltip ever in the entire game because it means nothing to anyone by the way harvest is saying i would join i went to them when i got into blizzard wondering what to do oh you've got starcraft because of arcade yes so you can you can join in if you've got starcraft arcade you can do exactly this Tiger is saying that there needs to be a game in the arcade, a map with Tim Tams, Shapes and Vegemite. Tiger, hello. That definitely needs to happen. And do you know that there's a map editor in this game? No, there is. We can actually make our own map. Yes. <laughs> so I think you've hit on something there. We could call it <coughs> the Aussie map or something. I'm not, I'm, we're going to have to think of something. You've definitely uh, got my creative juices flowing there. What this third number is, is the number of rooms in our house. That's the Sambo way of putting it. What that means is, it, at the moment mine says, and I know you probably can't see it on the stream, but mine says six slash 11. What it means is, is that if we have a look at my little units here, if I split all these out, we're gonna do some fairly basic counting. Here we go. Let's count up how many units I have in my huge army at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now how coincidental is it that that number up there is six out of 11? Now, here's something. Merrick, I don't know if you've ever played... Oh, no, Merrick's gone. Oh, no, Merrick's still there. Merrick, have you ever played StarCraft before? Uh, a while ago, yeah. Okay. If, whether you have or not, um, a wild guess. If I've got six characters here on my little army, and there's a, a, a indicator that says six out of 11, how many more units do you think I can build before I fill my house? There we are. Tough question putting you right on the spot five exactly exactly right what that is is an indicator of how many units you can currently build and of course at the moment my cap is 11 it's only 11 in order to build more units I'm actually going to need to increase that cap increase the number of available rooms in my house to beyond 11 so that's it that is the explaining that we wanted to cover off in terms of what those numbers mean. Now what I need to do is I need to get collecting these minerals. Now if you guys have been leaving your SCVs to collect, you'll have a, like probably thousands of minerals by now, and you'll notice that the minerals are not, fi are not infinite. They are finite and they will disappear eventually. We'll get to that in a minute. To make an SCV collect a mineral, I left click on an SCV, the and then I right click on a mineral field, and watch what happens. It's your dime. Off he goes, and he is now, look at that, he's got little minerals in his hand. He's going back and forth between the mineral field and my command center, and he's dumping them in there. And look at the number up the top here. Every time he heads back to the command center, it goes up by five. So each one of these little dudes can carry five minerals at a time. Now, obviously, it's not very efficient having just one guy take all the minerals. That's like saying, hey, Tiger, can you please go and collect all the Tim... Actually, no, that's what would happen. Tiger would do just fine collecting all the Tim Tams. What am I saying? <laughs> but what we want to do is we also want to get the rest of Distant World collecting Tim Tams. So I'm going to click on, let's say his name's Merrick. There we go, Merrick. Off you go. You're going to start collecting them. We're going to get Catella. She's going to go off and collect them as well as Mini Ninja. We've got... Uh, who else? we got there. Doc Sun. He's off. And we'll get Steph as well. There we are. All of Distant World now are collecting minerals. I simply left-clicked on each of them and then right-clicked on the mineral field. Now the thing is, is that I can have five more units because that means I can have five more little SCVs collecting minerals, which means I'm going to get more minerals in less time. So that's what I want. So I need to build some more SCVs. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. And one little trick that you need to know is that whenever you build something from a building, you have this thing called a rally point. So I'm selecting my command center with the left mouse button. I want you guys to do the same, irrespective of what your SCVs are doing. Just click on the command center so it's got a big green circle below it and so that it says command center in the center of your bottom window. Once you've done that, I want you to right click away so that it goes like that. You can see there a little blip on the ground. I'm gonna zoom in. Just right click away from it. What that there is, is a rally point. And that's a very, very important thing that's key to being a good StarCraft 2, well, good uh, real-time strategy player, actually, is that you need to set a rally point for a building. 
and it will become very clear why we want to do that in just a minute. Now I'm deliberately going to ask you to uh, make it away from the minerals just so we can see how this works for now. So select the command center with the left mouse button, right click anywhere on the ground away from the minerals. With the command center selected, we've got a whole bunch of commands in this command card area down the bottom right. And you can see they've got hotkeys as well. And what we're going to learn to do is use these hotkeys, but you can see this little one here that's got an S on it. It says train and SCV. And that is a basic worker unit, just like all of our other little distant world minions here that are gathering minerals for us. We want to make another one because we want to make more of these little minions. So all we need to do literally normally is click on that S and it will train one. The cost of it shows up there. It says that it's worth 50 minerals. We need 50 minerals in order to build one of these and it's going to take 17 seconds to build. So if I was to click on this, watch what happens. Here we go. It's off and you can see this little bar and it's saying training down the bottom here. You can see a little bar above it. It is actually building an SCV and if I do nothing and leave it alone, guess where it's going to turn up? There it is. It appeared where we set the rally point. So that's an important thing to remember. Let's do that again. I'm going to select the command center. I'm going to change the rally point. You'll make it down, down below it. I'm going to, instead of clicking on the SCV button, I'm going to hit S on the keyboard. Okay, there we go. And look at that, it's training one. If I hit S again, it's now training two. And you can see it in the queue there. And in fact, I can have up to five of these training at once. As soon as it's finished one, and guess where it comes out? That's right, it comes out at the rally point. I can train another one as well automatically. And as soon as it's finished, it's, it's just going to stop producing SCVs. So already, here we go, and it's also gone to the rally point. I've now created three more SCVs. I can lasso all of those, right click on the minerals, and away they go. They're going to start gathering minerals as well. Now, hopefully everyone's following so far, but there's one trick that I learned which is going to help you when it comes to making SCVs. What we can do is we can click on the command center and instead of having the rally point all the way out in the middle of nowhere, I can right click on the minerals and look what happens. I don't know if you notice this, but now the command center's rally point is actually in the mineral field. So I'm going to ask a trick question to Doc here. And again, I'm going to put you all on the spot and I don't know is a totally good, um, totally fine answer, by the way. What do you think is going to happen, Doc, if I've set my rally point in the mineral field? What do you think will happen when I build an SCV next? Where do you think that SCV will go and what do you think it will do? Well, it'll go to the crystals and start collecting them. Automatically. Automatically, which is awesome. So I'm just going to hit S twice now. One, two. And by the way, I saw your comment there, Seek, and I'll get to you in a minute. I'm just going to watch what happens. We'll zoom in. Watch what happens when a new one is created and you can see it ticking along and here it comes. SCV ready. It's instantly mining minerals and the second one is about to be finished as well. Remember it takes 17 seconds, we knew that by hovering over its card. SCV ready. And there we go, it's done. So I now have an army of 11 and in fact if I highlight all of this and let go, I can count them, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've got 11 units and they are all busy gathering minerals for me. And I've got a problem now because my supply is at 11 and I've got 11, I've run out of rooms in my house so I can't build any more SCVs. And to prove that, I'm going to click on my command center, I'm going to hit S Additional supply depots required. Did you hear that? Oh dear, not enough supply. Let's try that again. Nothing. Nothing at all. So it's queuing them up down here, but they're not building. And quite often people don't understand. It's like, hang on, I'm queuing. In fact, look at this. I've queued, I've queued all five. I've got five queued up ready to build and it's not training. What's going on? Why aren't they building? And it's because we've run out of rooms. Now, another little trick, the reason I queued them up, is if you ever do queue up something to build, you just left click on it and it will cancel that build. You don't lose any money. So that's how you get rid of builds. Now, Seek, <coughs> excuse me, you're saying you don't have a command center. That is a worry. That's a big worry. How? What did you do to your command center? Did you blow it up already? 
No, the problem was, Sambo, that uh, your talking comes through straight away, but your uh, picture on your video stream oh, is yes. about a 30 second lag. That's and right. I found the command center, and now I've got to try and figure out what to do with it. <laughs> That's okay. What some people do in that case, especially for live stuff, is mute me on Mumble and just listen to me on the stream, and that, and that can help sometimes as well. But I am, I am trying to keep it slow paced to account for that, and I am sorry about the delay. But um, uh, remember too, you will be able to look at this on YouTube a little bit later on, and we'll, you'll be able to follow through nice and easy. So what we're gonna do now, folks, is we're going to figure out how to increase the number of rooms in the house. Now, fortunately for us at the moment, we're full. So if Mini Ninja decide to come along and knock on our door, we'd, you know, we'd be able to turn her away and say, yeah, love to have you here, Mini, but I'm sorry, there's no more room, go away. Always wanted to say mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But of course, Catella wouldn't like that. She'd say I'm being mean to Mini. So I'm gonna have to build more rooms so that Mini Ninja can come and stay. We'll do that. How do you think we build more rooms? It's by building supply. And when you're a Terran, you build this funny looking little thing on the ground, which adds supply. To build something in this game, we just literally select one of our workers. So I'm just gonna pick one, just any of them, doesn't matter, and you guys follow along. You know it's selected because it's got a green ring below it. And we're just gonna bring them out over here. So I'm just gonna right click on the ground because we're gonna have a bit of a chat with them. There we go, hello there, Mr. SCV. We hear you. We hear you. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask him to build us something. Now. Uh, let's see, who can I pick on here? Hmm, who's in the chat room? Uh, Steph, Steph. Fortunately, Blizzard have used really logical shortcut keys that make sense um, to, you know, for common commands. Now, if you were designing a game and you wanted a shortcut key to tell a unit to build something, what key would you assign it? B. Yep, you got it in one. All I need to do is hit B. Ta -da! So if you guys hit B, and you'll notice in the command card now, you've got four available options that you can build. One of them says build supply depot, and that's what we want to do. And you can see it provides supply. And it even tells you supply allows you to create more units. And depots can be lowered to allow units to walk over them. All we need to do is hit S now, okay? And once we hit S, then I get this little Thing on my mouse cursor and what that's showing me is if it's green I can left click to place that on the ground if it's red it means I can't so for example if I wanted to try and build it there you can see that two of those little squares are red it's gonna fall off the edge of the cliff it won't let me build it there but I can build it anywhere I like and I'm just gonna click say there and as you will see he's gonna head on over and we've told him to start building that supply depot off he goes the great thing is that once that has finished building, you will see that the number of rooms I have available will increase from 11, and you'll see what it goes to in just a second. Now, Doc, does that make total sense? Yes, it does. Good stuff, and Tiger's being very rude in the background, saying some people just mute Sambo regardless. Shame of it, the shame of it. You can see there that that has added an extra eight supply it's now gone to 19 so we now have 11 in our army out of a total possible 19 which is cool now if i want i can grab this little guy and say b for build s for supply click very quickly and build another supply in fact i'm going to grab another guy and go b s and click over there because you can build more than one thing at a time in this game which is the key to winning so as you can see i've already got one supply and I've got two more being built at the same time. Mm hmm very clever. And you will notice that my supply up the top here has now gone to 27, and as soon as this one has finished, of course, it should go to 35. Let's just make sure that that's gonna work. There we go, 35. So I now have three supply, I've added rooms to my house, and the important thing to remember here is that your SCVs sit there doing nothing once they've finished. So don't forget about them. So we need to grab them. Job, and in this case, we're gonna set them back to work in Been the minefield. The Easy. All right, now Steph, have you followed us so far? Yep. Uh, see you later Zen, by the way, and hello <laughs> Jay Van Cleef, good to see you. Now, um, how many rooms have you got in your house, Steph? Have you, did you build three like me? 
I've built two so far. Yep, and that's all you need. I'm, I'm doing overkill at the moment. And by the way, another part of this game is the order in which you build things. We're not concerned about that at this point. But the next thing I want to do, and we're not going to be much longer on today's stream, is we've got a whole bunch of little dudes collecting minerals. We want more. So I'm going to select the command center, and I'm going to hit S twice. And that means that I'm going to train two more SCVs. And it's always good to have two SCVs being trained at any one time in the game, pretty much, until you uh, reach the maximum. So always try to remember to have two being trained. Today it doesn't matter so much. But we're just going to, I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch. Just hit S lots. And there we go. Because we've got lots and lots of minerals because we've been letting them go. Now you may, if you've been with us since the start of the stream and your SCVs have been gathering minerals, you may have run out and your SCVs may be just standing around. Don't worry about that. If that's happened to you, just let them stand there. Because remember, these are finite. Later on in the game, we actually have to head out and mine other types of minerals. There are other areas that we send a little command center to and we can actually mine other areas. So don't worry that if it runs out. But there we go, we're making SCVs. The last thing we're gonna show you today well, there's two things. One is um, how to build your first marine, which is really cool. And secondly is how to use some uh, more hotkeys and some control groups. So we're nearly there. If you're wondering how much longer we've got to go, it's probably about 15 minutes maximum. And that will be it for lesson number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to select one of our SCVs because we want them to build something. In this case, we're going to hit B because we want them to build. But now that we've built our supply, you can see we've got more options that are available to us here to build. And what we want to do is build a barracks. And just like in real life, barracks house soldiers. And soldiers are a big part of this game. So what we want to do, if I clear all that again, is we select an SCV, we hit B for build, and guess what? B for barracks. And now I get this little thing that I can drop. And I'm going to just drop it out the front here. There we go. Yeah, so that little SCV is going to take off and he is now beginning to build a barracks. There we go. Now a barracks takes, oh actually I can't remember how long a barracks takes. Let me tell you how long a barracks takes. It is 65 seconds. You can always tell by hovering over its little build icon how long something takes. So of course you've got to keep that in mind. While the barracks is building there, I'm going to train more SCVs. Let's do S. Now, like I say, normally you'd only have a couple training at once, but because we're just learning, we're going to spam out a whole bunch. The more SCVs that are gathering minerals, the quicker you get them. It's pretty easy math. There's nothing, uh, no rocket science involved there. Meanwhile, our barracks is being built. As you can see, it's nearly done. If we click on it, you can click on it while it's building. You get that little building bar there. And this number, whenever you click on something, it's got a little icon with a number. That's how many hit points that building has because all buildings have hit points just like enemy units, just like our units. Buildings have health. So you can see there, the command center has 1500 health. The barracks has 1000. Supply depots have 400. I'm gonna get our little guy, a little SCV, and put him back to work on the mines because we don't want somebody doing nothing. So there we go. If you've been following along, you should have a command center with a whole bunch of SCVs and your mineral supply should be getting very low. You should have some supply units up so that we've got more rooms in our house and you should have a barracks being built so hopefully you guys are at the same point now just like every other unit in the game i want to select the barracks barracks and i want to select the point where the units will rally so i right click on the ground in this case we're going to go down this ramp oh there we go it's starting to tell me that my minerals are being depleted left click on the barracks right click on the ground that sets the rally point just like we were doing before I now click on the barracks and you can see here I can train two types of soldiers. One is a marine and one is a reaper. I can click on A to say train marine. Bang, there we go. And you can see here it is training. You can see the little bar going across and guess where it's going to spawn. Guess where the little marine is going to walk out and stand. That's right, he's going to stand at that rally point. That's where I right clicked with the barracks selected. I'll make it over there, make it wherever I like. And here we go. There he is. There's our first little Marine. And we can click on him. And we can right click to move him around. We've now made our very first soldier. Our army is one big. There we go. Now, like everything else, I can click on this barracks and I can spam it. So I'm going to go A, 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 A. There we go. And there are now five Marines in training. And they are all going to arrive wherever that little rally point is on the ground. So Doc-san, 
Are you currently producing Marines? Yes, I am. Excellent. Good to hear it. Uh, who else have we got in here? Winter. Now, are you playing along with us today, Winter? Uh, actually, I just downloaded it, and I'm testing it out right now. Can I get my feet wet? Good stuff. Great to hear it. I like this. This is good. Uh, let me see. Uh, who else have we got here? Uh, Tigerhawk Rosebud. Now, how are you going? Are you at a point where you're building little Marines? Or, or did, we, did you get lost at Tim Tams? <laughs> <laughs> No, I am I'm building marines. Excellent. All right, we're doing well. Uh, Doc, are you building marines? Yes, I am. All right, do you know what? This is good because it means that uh, my instructions this mustn't be, be too, too bad. And finally, what about you, Steph? Is your army being built here full of Sambo-like soldiers? Yes, it is. There you go. Of course That's you... not much of an army. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look out. Someone might break a nail. There we go. All right. So hopefully, very shortly, you will have had one, two, three, four, five. At the end of this, we'll have six Marines. Six Marines. Now, hopefully you guys can figure out what's going on here. Let's just recap while they're being built. Simultaneously, we're doing lots of stuff. We are gathering minerals. Your mineral field will run out. Don't worry about it. And they'll just all stand around doing nothing for now. That's okay. So those minerals are not mineral infinite. Depleted. There we go. You can hear it keep saying that they've been depleted all the time. But you should have thousands and thousands of minerals in your mineral count. You'll have no Vespine gas because we haven't mined it yet. And by the way, if you take an SCV and if you right click on the, vis uh, the geyser there, nothing happens. That's not how you mine gas, but we'll get to that in a future episode. You should have increased your house room size by building supply. And we've built a barracks, we've set a rally point, and there they all are right there. There we go. So the final thing we're going to talk about today is control groups, because it's very, very handy. So we're going to learn that in just one minute. But before we do that, and it's the final thing for this stream, we're just going to quickly check in with everyone to see if they've built themselves an army of six marines. So Doc, do you have six marines ready to rock and roll? Uh, I got three. Three? All right. If you can build three more, that'd be awesome. Um, Steph? Yes, I do. Beautiful. Uh, Winter? Oh, yeah. um, sorry, I'm in another game here. That's okay. No worries. And Seek, what about you? Now, how are you going? You managed to find your command center, I hope. Did you manage to figure out how to build some mighty Sambo Marines? I've got the command center. I've got people collecting minerals. I've got a supply depot and I've got a barracks. Awesome. That is awesome. If you left click on your barracks, just literally left click on it and uh, you'll see in your command card you can build a marine train a marine which is a or train a reaper which is r you should have those options now if you have yes, I found that and i've clicked the a i should be building i think five or four yeah, marines beautiful that's it that's exactly what we want so you've easily kept up with us no problem at all um so i think that's everyone i'm not sure if yorick you're you're probably a starcraft 2 veteran are you yorick a bit yeah there you go so all this will be incredibly boring for you and i am sorry about that same for ashley um but like i say we are trying to uh, get people into this who have no clue what they're talking about a lot of people i come across don't even know how to move a unit or anything like that or even understand the concept of these games so we're we're aiming nice and low noob wise so of course i'm the biggest noob there is all right let's assume now that everyone has their army this is where people start getting confused and where the game just leaps away on them and this is what makes people quit this game is how to keep control of everything and nemesis is saying reminds me of three kingdoms fate of the dragon you know what i know exactly what you're talking about there nemesis absolutely and it does yes definitely and all these games are pretty much the same all right what i need you guys to do is basically lasso we're going to lasso your army so i'll do it a whole bunch of times so you know what i mean so just like in windows you're lassoing you're holding down the left mouse button selecting all six of our marines so they're all selected and nothing else so we only want the marines selected at this point your scvs are probably idle because they've got no minerals together don't worry about that so we're selecting all of the marines guess what happens if i right click on the ground we there they go off they go we can move them around we're going to move them out out the front door down the ramp you, there will be a ramp it'll either be to the top left or the bottom right depending on where you were on the map but you find a ramp and we're going to head on out into the battlefield and i'm just right clicking on the ground here with them all selected that is my army 
It's really cool. It's easy. And I can control my little army just by right clicking around on the ground like that. Nice and simple. Except for one thing. It becomes a problem now if I want to get back to my base because I've now scrolled away. We're wandering all the way off out into the middle of the battlefield here. Easy peasy. But what if I want to go back to my base and do something? It's a bit painful because I'm going to have to go like this. Ugh. And I scroll all the way around and try and find my base. Now it's easy on this map because it's a bit small, but some of the maps later get a bit harder. What if I want to get back to my soldiers? Uh, where are they? Where are they? There they are. It's very slow, very horrible. What I could do is I could left click on the mini map and instantly move my camera between the two. So you can see there I'm just literally left clicking on the map and that means I can see what's going on because I know my base is down there and I know that those green blobs up there are my army. But even that is just a little bit unreliable because you can see I miss it half the time. I can scroll around with it if I like, but it's not very efficient. So instead what we're going to do is we are going to learn some hotkeys. And Catello is saying getting late should probably go. Have fun guys. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Uh, Blind said to say hi and tell you that he hopes you're doing well. Thank you. Say good day to Blind as well. Hi Blind. And good night to you Cat. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thanks for stopping by. So we're nearly done folks. What we're going to do is we're going to do a thing called control groups. We're going to assign a control group to our amazing Sambo super soldiers here. So we need to select them all wherever they are. Just make sure they're all selected. We're going to hold down control on the keyboard and while that's held down hit one. And I don't know if you noticed on my screen because you're going to have to let it catch up. But down here right near the clock, the little timer, you'll see the number one. And what that is, is that tells me that I've got a control group created. And that little one there means I can select my soldiers very quickly by just hitting the one key on the keyboard. So we'll do that again. I'm going to select them all like that. Just lasso them all. Hold down control. And while I'm holding down control, hit one. And that assigns those six soldiers to control group one. Easy peasy. Now what I'm going to get you to do is move the camera all the way back to our command center. Here we go. Yay. And what we're going to do while we're at the command center is we're going to forget about our soldiers out in the field and we're going to click the barracks. So left click our barracks. Here we go. And for this, and this is going to seem weird, but I'm going to ask you to hit control 5. We're going to assign that to control group number 5. Now I don't know if you realize what this is doing, uh, but what we're doing is we're putting little shortcut keys on specific things. So there we go. I'm out, says she plays it, got StarCraft loading, so maybe we'll have ourselves a StarCraft match someday. Absolutely Minnie, you are up for it. Definitely, I, I accept your challenge. So there we go Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Good night. Hi, well I'm, I'm out myself. See you then. Take care, have a good I'll weekend. See you all later. Bye bye. Bye. So here we go. What have we got? We've got our army on one and we've got our little barracks on five. So again, select the barracks just by left clicking on it and hit control five. And I've assigned it to five. Now why would I do that? Why on earth do I want something set to one and something set to five? Because watch what happens now if I double tap the one key at the top of my keyboard. We're talking about the, the number keys above QWERTY, right? Just the normal number keys, not the number pad. If I double tap one, and I'll get close to it so you can hear, watch what happens on the screen. Here we go. You gonna give me orders? Now I know you're gonna have to wait for the stream to catch up, but it instantly took us to where our army is. Now Steph, did you follow that and did it work for you? Yes. Now how cool is that? We were able to jump just by double tapping one straight to our army. Now I'm going to put you on the spot Steph, but I don't know if you remember, but we assigned our barracks to hotkey number five. Hazard a guess, how can I very quickly get my view and selection back to the barracks? What do you reckon? Just double tap five. Yep, here we go. Double tap number five and look at that, I am straight back at my barracks which is so very important because I need to be producing soldiers, for me anyway, as much as possible. And this is how people playing StarCraft are able to move around the map and do things so very very quickly. It's with control groups, that's what these are called. So once again here we go, double tap number one, 
this better be good. There's my army. Once I've got it, they're selected. If I right click on the ground, I can move them around. In effect, I can set them to move all the way over here. Away they go. And while they're doing that, double click five. And I can be back here and hit A five times and be making soldiers. And then I double click one again. And look, I'm up here scouting around the enemy position. I can say, hey, you guys, go all the way over here. I can double tap five and say mm, no i'm still building my soldiers if there were any spare gaps and there we go there's one i can hit a then i can double tap one again and there's my little soldiers moving around so you can see very quickly i can be controlling my army and then double tap number five and come back here and be building more at the same time so doc sun did that make any sense at all to you actually yes it did now it's it's a little bit weird at first okay because you think well why would i want to do that but once you learn this habit it makes starcraft 2 so 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 much easier and uh, in the next lesson you'll you'll figure out why but the big thing that most people don't realize is that double tap takes you to your army or a double tape tap brings you back to whatever it is that you've got assigned to those keys and because it automatically has it selected when i double tap number five all i need to do to make more marines is hit a i don't even need to use the mouse at all so double tap number one there's my army i can send it over here here we go way 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 double tap number five not even touching the mouse hit a double tap number one and i'm back at my army I didn't have to do anything but hit a couple of hotkeys and I was able to still control my army but go back and make sure that I'm building marines. So let's do that again. Here I am out in the field looking around trying to find someone to fight. Double tap five, hit A, double tap one and I'm back. And I'm, I know that I'm making an army back at my base. It's so powerful. So the very last thing we're going to do now before we wrap this stream up is I'm going to hit double tap five again. And as you know, we are making an army. So there it is. There's my second army, which is back at my base. I've got my other army all the way over here on the map, but I'm building a second one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cancel training the rest of those marines. I'm gonna select this second army, and Steph, because I've been picking on you, I'm gonna pick on you a little bit longer. If I've got an army on Control Group One, but I want to create a second army. Okay, because we're going to go nuts here and have two armies running around. Have a guess as to what I might do so I can easily control it. Just assign it to like control two or another exactly. hotkey. Exactly, you got it right. And it's that simple. So I'm going to hold down control with this second army selected and hit two. Ta-da! And now let's experiment. Let's have some fun with experimenting moving around. So firstly, I'm going to double tap one. There's my original army, and I'm going to send them over here. Now I'm going to double tap two while they're moving, and I've got my second army, and I'm going to get them out the front gate, just by right clicking on the ground. I'm going to double tap number one. There's my other army. So let's get them moving around. Double tap number two. Here's my other army. I am controlling two armies at once in totally different areas of the map, just by double tapping and getting to them. So here we are. These guys are exploring over on the left side of the map. Sure off we go double tap number two and these guys are way over on the right side of the map i'm doing two things at once which tiger hawk rosebud will tell you for me sambo is nigh on impossible not only that though while we're doing this while i've got two armies covering and uncovering the map and figuring out what's going on if i double tap five guess what i can do i can start spamming a again to make more marines Okay, all at the same time. Now, actually, I can't at the moment because I'm supply blocked because I don't have enough houses, um, or rather, I don't have enough rooms in my house. But of course, I could always get a SCV to say build a supply. Get another one, build a supply. BS, Marie uh, SCV build supply, build supply. Away we go, and that's making more room so I can make more Marines. But there you go, Army number one, double tap. There it is. Whee! Army number two, double tap. There it is and my build stuff double tap number five and as soon as we've got more supply they will start training so that's it that is all we're going to cover off in this episode what i'm going to do now is open it up to any questions from those of you who are playing along or who are watching 
in the Mumble chat room. And the next stream that we do, we're going to have a quick recap. But what we're going to cover off next is building slightly more advanced units. So we can actually not just have little Super Sambo soldiers running around, but we're going to be able to build vehicles and support things as well that help us and heal us uh, in different types of units. So we're going to learn that. And we're also going to learn what happens when we run out of minerals. Because look at that, all these SCVs are standing around doing nothing. They're very, very bored. They need to actually start collecting the crystals from over here. So how on earth do we do that? How do we make them collect those crystals? Well, there's a secret to that, and we shall figure that out in the next episode. But before we go any further, let's go to the chat room, and we'll start with you, maybe, Doc. Is there anything in that that you don't understand so far? Yeah, no, I actually understand it quite well. Yep, and by the way, look, I'm not being condescending or insulting in any way. Remember, I am the stupidest person alive. I know nothing about the in-depth mechanics of this game at all, but I know enough, having learnt it from this other person called Winter, funnily enough, not our Winter that we know, but another guy called Winter Starcraft, who aims at, uh, you know, tutorials for complete beginners like us, like us. So I, it just so happens that I've been through that already. It's not that I know any more than you guys in fact you guys probably already know more than me now Merrick I don't know if you've been watching along or if you were, uh, you said that you were a Starcraft 2 player from back in the day but did you play Red Alert or Command and Conquer or any of those early games oh uh, yeah a little bit yep are you a real-time strategy person because let's face it some people are and some people just aren't and it's a, a personal taste not really your cup of tea I'm guessing I don't like the um I, I don't like the uh uh like, like the, the civilization type games. Oh, right. So more turn-based stuff, you mean? Yeah, I don't like playing the turn-based stuff. I like to be able to uh, to do it right on the fly. Yeah, and that's why I prefer this as well, because it is real-time and the pressure is on. Remember too, folks, as we have a look around, I mean, we are not under any threat. Okay, There's no enemy. If we were playing against an enemy, we'd be dead a long time ago because they would have come in here and overrun our base and destroyed everything. But we'll get to that in future episodes. Um, Ashley, thank you very much. That's so nice of you. Says, how I wish I'd had this kind of tutorial during my first playthrough. Great job teaching Professor Sambo. There we go. I'm like uh, Professor Oak. I'm Professor Sambo now. There we go. <coughs> <laughs> um, Seek is saying, I agree. Even I can understand and follow. Let's hear from Seek himself. Are you there, Seek, or did I, uh, did I drive you to sleep? <laughs> no, I'm still here. I've been playing. I, uh, I built a little village. Why? Um, awesome. I have got the movement thing. I'll pick that up from uh, YouTube, but I've got, I've got them harvesting gas and all sorts oh, of things. There I've you got go. Marines all over the place beautiful that's exactly what you want and so you've already figured out how to harvest the gas i mean it's not it's not rocket science um but uh, the movement thing just a word of warning uh seek is don't get in the habit too early of clicking on things and moving the camera around with your mouse it's a very hard habit to break so do watch the control group stuff because it will revolutionize how you play the game and it'll mean you'll win a lot more than you'll lose trust me on that one i am like i say ridiculously terrible at this game I am even moving up through the ranks purely because of this control group and how to actually build things very quickly. And of course, the more you play it, the faster you get at it and the more it becomes muscle memory. And it's a very, very satisfying game. So pleased to hear that though, Seek. I'm really glad that you're stuck with us and thank you very much. Uh, now, what about you, Winter? Did you, I mean, I know you were sort of catching up, playing catch up. You probably didn't follow along with us, but are you already a StarCraft player? Is this your first time? What's your story in StarCraft? Uh, I used to play the original one a uh, fair bit back in the day. Right, okay. be very, very familiar to you now. Uh, did you ever have any interest in StarCraft 2 or did you give it a bit of a bypass? I kind of gave it a bit of a bypass. I, I was already into too many games and I just couldn't get into another one. Yep, and you know what? Everyone, it seems, is like that as well. Unless you're a hardcore StarCraft player, not many people sort of decided to, to go for it because it's such a steep learning curve as well. The story is really cool, but the learning curve on these games is very, very high. So um, glad that you reinstalled it. I hope you'll join us in our next show with this. Um, now, what about you, Steph? Have you got, uh, are you a megalomaniac? Have you got an army of thousands already ro roaming around the map? <laughs> Not thousands, but um, I've got quite a few. <laughs> there you go. You've probably exhausted minerals as well. For those of you who do want to keep playing even after the stream, I'm going to show you one little trick uh, before we sign off in just a minute. But uh, Harvest, is Harvest there? Or I wonder if she's her drunken self has fallen asleep. Are you Have you fallen over in a drunken stupor, Harvest? <laughs> 
Um, I'm actually here, but I did doze off a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Look, my dulcet tones, my beautiful singing voice, does have that soothing effect on people, and it does make them fall asleep. So totally understandable, uh, right? That's probably what woke her up. <laughs> Shush you. It was, it was, <laughs> well, it was both. I fell asleep to it, and then I woke up to it. <laughs> it was me waking up all the dogs in the neighborhood. Oh, now, what about you, Yorick? So, um, his his singing induced you to a coma, it, but then at the same time it was able to wake you up. So you're saying I'm well, Jigglypuff? Well, actually, I, I kind of just woke up not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> That's okay, I'm glad you had a nap. I had a nap, uh, I fell asleep last night too on the couch. But uh, Yorick, refresh my memory, you know it's like a goldfish bowl. I can't remember, are you a seasoned StarCraft 2 player, or are you a newbie, or you have absolutely no interest in it whatsoever? I'm a seasoned player. Oh, you are. Okay, so this would have been very, very frustrating for you. And uh, by the way, I do appreciate that folk like yourself and Ashley have kept your mouth shut because <laughs> I know there would be ample opportunity for you to leap ahead here and it would have taken a great deal of patience. Uh, and I'm sure you can see where I'm trying to go with this as well as try and get these guys who are um, maybe not into it to try and learn the good habits from the start because honestly, you know, mouse moving and clicking on things is the worst thing you can do. And the tutorial in StarCraft tells you to do that stuff. I think it's awful. Um, so we're just trying to, uh, you know, get them to, to use the hotkeys because I think that's the key to being able to play this game super fast and super fun. But thank you very much anyhow. And I'm sure you'll be able to give us lots of advice in future shows as well. Now, Tiger... You and I have a date with Destiny because I think we have to crank up the StarCraft 2 map editor at some point and get a Tim Tam Vegemite map made. I, I think there's something in it. I really do. I reckon that people would play it, don't you think? I think so. And I think we need to figure out a way to put T2 in there as well. <laughs> oh, T2. And of course, uh, a lot of you guys in the US won't know what T2 is, but it's a tea shop, isn't literally tea like the drink tea uh, and it's one of our favorites so over here in Australia myself Reggie and Tiger would regularly go and have tea uh, and uh, we'd eat Tim Tams it's all a very Australian thing hey maybe maybe instead of vest being gas it could be tea too and then the minerals could be Tim Tams hmm I like there the idea. you go I like Power. it and I think as the big bad monster of the game we could create a unit called a Reginator uh, and we could have a dancing <laughs> unit called the Tiger and then, of course, we could have the big, strong, manly soldier type, which, of course, would be named Sambo. <laughs> of course, because, <laughs> of course. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, I th we'll think about that. We'll, we'll work on that. We'll think about that one. <laughs> there you go, folks. I certainly hope you enjoyed that. We are absolutely going to do this again. The little tip for you guys, if you want to know how to gather the other minerals, if you're playing ahead in the game, you can do it in two ways. You can either tell an SCV, Let's we're just going to assume some advanced knowledge here, we can tell it to build a command center okay C there we go and as you can see you can pop it over here near the other minerals that's one way of doing it and that's great because it means you've got two bases or if you don't want to do that you can actually tell your existing command center now hold on to your horses folks to wait for it lift off with the L button and watch this Whee! <laughs> that's right and we can actually move that over to where there are new minerals very very slowly so there's a couple of options for you there but uh, my advice is to actually build a new command center there so there you go on that note folks thank you very much for watching certainly hope you enjoyed it we may make the rest of this series some let's play so some pre-recorded stuff but uh, you'll be able to follow along with them on the YouTubes aside from that though we'll definitely be streaming this again so you can follow along in real time thank you very much for your support I do appreciate it if you want oh by the way once you get your unit over here you have to hit L again for land so you just say hey I want it over there and it will land and you can then grab all of your SCVs if you wish and tell them to start mining the minerals over here by just right clicking on that mineral field and you'll see wee away they go they are off to start mining the new minerals and they will go to the nearest command center which is there so you don't have to create a whole new bunch of workers it's that simple but there we go. Thanks again, guys, to everyone in the chat room. Thank you very, very much to everyone also in the Mumble chat room, and especially those who were dying to yell things out but didn't. Yorick and Ashley, thank you very much. Cousin Charlie, thank you. Doc, always good to see you. Frozen Winter, thank you. Merrick, lovely to see you. What are your plans for the rest of the weekend, Merrick? Uh, let's see. Go to sleep here in a little bit, and uh, I don't know, probably just play some uh, Final Fantasy for the next uh, day before the patch comes. Oh, of course, that's right. It's a big day for you guys. Uh, so um, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on the website there to see what's going on in terms of the Distant World website. Is there anything in there that you're particularly looking forward to, Merrick? 
Uh, I don't know, maybe Ninja? Yeah, Ninja. I bet you Mini is looking forward to the Ninja class. Can't wait to see that. Anyway, good luck to that, and I hope you have a great sleep. Nine Ball, aka Winter, thank you very much for your participation. Certainly hope you enjoy uh, this StarCraft tool. Be definitely keen to check in with you to see if it's what you remember from the old StarCraft, because you may find you've been missing out on a very cool game. Seek, certainly hope you've enjoyed yourself tonight. Uh, what time is it over there in the UK? Uh, 6.35 a.m. at the moment. Oh my lord, have you been up all night? No, only since about 1 o'clock. Oh my god. Okay, your your sleeping pattern is reversed. I hope that's not my fault. Certainly hope you enjoyed the show today and certainly hope you're enjoying StarCraft 2 and that you turn into a, a big megalomaniac with armies of thousands that wreak havoc across the battlefields of the StarCraft universe. Steph, congratulations on your brand new family member. Very, very cute. Like I say, nearly as cute as me. Uh, what are your plans for the rest of the day? Bedtime, I hope. Uh, no. Not for a while. <gasps> Good lord. Probably, um... Practice this game a little bit, and then uh, either play some WoW or some more Diablo. Good on you. All right, so you're a Blizzard fan, fan girl like I am. I'm um, definitely a fan girl. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy yeah. that anyway. Um, and it's an awesome game. Seriously, it's, it's very rewarding. It's kind of like Dark Souls, one of those games with that monumental steep learning curve, but very rewarding once you pull off a win and some of your strategies come through. And we're, all, of course, just at the tip of the iceberg here. Harvest, go to bed. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you definitely need to go to... And drink lots of water. <laughs> definitely drink lots of water. And if you've got coffee on hand, you need to be gulping that down by the gallon, I'd imagine. Yorick, what about you? Maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe tomorrow morning, maybe. I've got work tomorrow morning, so I can't do that. What about you, Yorick? What are you up to? I am playing Warcraft 3 Frozen Throw. Awesome. And, of course, that is a game in a very similar vein to this. Uh, and, in fact, I think it's what inspired... Starcraft, if I remember right, was Warcraft, the very first game, so another great game as well, and of course the story in both Starcraft and Warcraft is awesome, so very jealous of you, wish I had the time to play that, I've got it installed, but it's another great real-time strategy game as well. Meantime folks, that is it, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, because this will be on YouTube, so if you've got anything that you didn't quite understand, I'm sure I will try to answer to the best of my ability, in the meantime certainly, hope you guys are having a great week wherever you are in the world, we do look forward to seeing you very very soon, see you next time.